Welcome to another episode of Unique Tech Tutorials, free tutorials on cutting-edge technology, give you the intuition you need as a visual thinker and simplify the problem on hand. So today we want to talk about how to do a hello world for Alexa, Amazon's voice assistant and voice search functionality. In this tutorial, you will learn the key components and intuition behind the programming, but not necessarily the step-by-step -step tutorial. The step-by-step -step tutorial and sample codes are available on the official Alexa developer website. So feel free to check it out, and there are plenty of tutorials out there. Let us know if you need some recommendations. In coding, it's very important to get the definition right. That translates to good requirements and wireframing prototypes. So what is Alexa? Alexa is Amazon's voice search and voice assistant, like Siri, and it is predicted as an internet trend that voice search will eventually take over compared to our current search method, which is led by Google. Alexa is a layer of software program that can be implemented on Amazon's devices, such as Amazon Echo, Amazon Echo Dot, and Amazon Tab. But it can also be implemented in other Internet of Things. There are plenty of Alexa-compatible devices, and it can be used to control other Internet of Things. And that's a fancy way to say smart, connected Internet devices, such as Google Home, such as Nest Camera, etc. As you can imagine, it is much harder to get your app in the Apple App Store. It has a stringent review process because it's so lucrative and popular. Amazon Alexa is still at an earlier stage, not anymore, but it's more willing to partner with coding bootcamps and is beginner-friendly. It is known to give beginner-friendly tutorials, such as this one that we're going to show you today, abridged and adapt from Block BLOC's tutorial on Alexa. So check it out. It is very good for beginners. A simple Hello World app for voice search can be a lookup meaning you have a lookup table, a reference table of data that you want to check against the user's input, such as area code. So you can say, Alexa, what is what city has the area code 415? First of all, you want to look up useful data, such as an Excel sheet or CSV of two columns, the area code, such as 415, and then the city code, such as San Francisco. Then you want to store and convert this, convert this and store it as a JSON format. as a JavaScript object store, JSON. Next, you will need to host this data somewhere, and Amazon's Web Service Data Storage is the perfect choice with the most affinity. Let's take a quick look at the sample code here. You can see Alexa's response is enclosed in a speak tag, sort of Alexa's special coding language, saying whatever's in code here will be read out loud. And you can also see the say as tag, interpret as digits. What does that mean? Well, so Alexa will not read 415 as 415, and instead will enunciate the digits 415. And that's sort of the user experience people would expect. Amazon's developer console for Alexa also gives you useful libraries types, so you can cast your response in existing type. You can also leverage existing APIs, such as Tell with Cards, that will show the response information in the dashboard that Alexa has. There is a visual dashboard in addition to the audio interface. Each of these Alexa apps that you publish is called a skill. A skill usually goes through a review by the Amazon team before being published, so guarantee the quality. So one key aspect of developing a skill is to handle the errors. Error handling is very important. When you cannot understand the user input, Alexa should be able to ask the user to repeat the question or give an example of how to talk to Alexa. At the end of the sample code here, you can see, I'm sorry, I don't understand you. Please say where is plus three digit area code. So Alexa is handling error and teaching the user how to use this skill. What we show you essentially is the core of an Alexa skill application. That is the interaction model, also known as a voice form. On the internet, you have a login form or a contact form. In this case, Alexa just take an input. In this case, the most important input is also known as bracket item, close bracket. The item is the single most important input you're going to get from your user and be able to do something with it with the rest of your program. Amazon provides you with a test console, so you can test out your skills without owning an Alexa-enabled device. You will also have to provide the console with sample utterances, essentially the variations of questions that can be asked. Once you publish your skills, you will be able to get a review, which is required, and also advice from the Alexa developer and quality control team. After it's published in public, you can also view and track the skill metrics, such as the count of the total number of utterances received. This is an abridged and adapted version from Block Coding Bootcamp's online webinar. If you prefer to read the blog posting set, see the link below and subscribe, like, comments. Thank you so much for